So Jeremy Corbyn's whip has not been reinstated, but 14 months ago when he was originally suspended by Keir Starmer, the NEC voted in favour of his reinstatement. It was simply just waiting for Keir Starmer to say, here's your whip back. That was it. There was no formal process to get his whip removed. This is why this whole fiasco is a disgrace. But I'm also going to argue that this is bad for democracy. You may not be a socialist, you may not be a social democrat, and you may not like Jeremy Corbyn, but this goes bigger than him. This goes bigger than his politics. He was a former leader. He won 40% of the vote in 2017. He won 32% of the vote in 2019. He won millions of votes. He also put the Labour Party in the black for the first time. But it's not just about the Labour Party finances. He brought hundreds and thousands of members to the Labour Party. That's more activists, that's more door knockers, that's more positions being filled by young and vibrant people. All that has been washed away. In the last two years under Keir Starmer's leadership, the membership has fallen, the finances are in a dire state, they're making fire and rehire practices, cutting staff, cutting pay, acting like the bad bosses they're supposed to be against. With Jeremy Corbyn's whip not being restated, he's going to have to fight as an independent at Islington North next general election. Who knows if he's going to actually stand? I think he should, and I think he will win because there'll be people going from all different parts of the country who supported his leadership, who became hopeful under the Labour Party, will come support him, and I think you should too. This is the state of the Labour Party. Just a few days ago, just last week, we've had a Tory MP walk the floor towards the Labour Party. This is a man, he's not just any old Tory, he's a pretty right-wing conservative. He voted against the uplift of the universal credit just by £20 a week. He voted against free school meals, his strict views on immigration and refugees. Yet the Labour Party seems to think that this guy's okay, but a man who's fought for justice, peace and justice his whole life isn't fit to be in the Labour Party, or at least be in the Labour whip. So Rachel Reeves, the shadow chancellor, has been celebrating that membership is plummeting. She seems to think that all those members that joined under Jeremy Corbyn are anti-Semites, they're, they're racist bigots, and that them leaving the party is a sign that the party is electable again, and it's got us values back, that these members didn't hold the values. Well, that's very funny you say that, because these people who knocked on doors, who canvassed, who gave their blood, sweat, and tears to fight for a progressive Labour government, they don't hold the values, but a right-wing Tory who just walked the floor, what he does? Keir Starmer has moved the Labour Party to the right. I think we are under no illusion, but he's moving it more to the right, maybe than Tony Blair. But not just that, but he's kicking out people who disagree with him. He's kicking out Jewish socialists. But no one in the media is saying anything about that. Oh, God, no. No one's saying that one out of four Muslim Labour voters feel like they're being alienated from the party, that there's Islamophobia rife in both the Tories, yes, and the Labour Party. No one's saying anything about that. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're saying, well, the NEC voted on this proposal. It's democratic. Well, as I said before, the NEC voted to reinstate Jeremy Corbyn to the Labour Party when he was suspended because there was no reason why he should have been suspended. There was no rule that he broken. It was only simply a charge from the top. So why is it any different this time? Well, I'll tell you why it's different. It's because this has got direct orders from the top of the party, from the machine of the party. Keir Starmer didn't want Corbyn to have the whip back. It was him himself that removed the whip, and it's him himself who has kept it from him. Not members, not the NEC. Now we've got the NEC, which is filled with those on the right of the party, because, like I said, members have left en masse. Now, Jeremy Corbyn's response, class as always, today's NEC vote and Keir Starmer's ongoing decision to bar me from sitting as a Labour MP is disappointing. I'm grateful for and humbled by the support I've received, especially from Islington North constituents. The struggle for peace, justice, and sustainability goes on. So here's what I say as a leftist, if you're a socialist or a social democrat, don't vote the Labour Party. The party is now held in the grip of the establishment, pulled away from ordinary people. There's no point. If Keir Starmer wins a general election, he's not going to change anything. He's probably going to be to the right of the Conservatives on the economy. We need to stop those of us on the left giving our unconditional support to a party that hates you, that hates all of us. I think we can all agree that the Labour Party being a vehicle for change is over.